morning guys welcome back to a new video i'm back i know i said in my last video i wasn't sure if i'd be able to keep up with making content on this channel um because of the new channel and like all of our move and everything to the tropics but i think i'm going to be able to because i've really gotten into the swing of vlogging and all of that for the off-grid diaries our off-grid channel and I'm like, I can just film what I eat once a week on here and do a little vloggy style video for you guys and show you like any new recipes I've come up with and things like that. I was mainly worried about not being able to do like the recipe video type format and like my Instagram and stuff like that. But I've decided I'm just gonna focus on YouTube because that is my main thing that I've been doing for the last like seven or eight years and i enjoy youtube the most honestly i'm not the biggest fan of like instagram and tiktok i will obviously like post on my instagram stories and stuff but i really don't like instagram very much i think it's just it's too easy to get sucked into and it just can waste a lot of time and like making content for there it's just it's not as rewarding as on here because I feel like I get to like show you guys so much more of my life and chat with you more and it's just a I love like the longer video style format so I'm just gonna stick to posting on here I think it's gonna be really easy for me to upload consistently because yeah I'm just gonna film what I eat once a week and do a little what I eat in a day I did a poll on my Instagram to see if you guys preferred the recipe videos or the um, what I eat in a days. And obviously everyone loves what I eat in a days. And these are just for inspiration. Like they are not to be copied or anything like that. What I eat in a day is just what worked for me that day. Every day is not the same. I eat different amounts all the time and different recipes all the time. And sometimes I eat really simple and sometimes I eat like really complicated stuff because I just feel like cooking all day. But these are just for inspiration and to give you some meal ideas and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to still be posting on here. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing more vlog style stuff so that I can show you guys just more of my life. And like, you know, it's an exciting time. It's a stressful time, but it's an exciting time. We're moving in a few months and just getting everything together. Derek and I have been working on a ton of projects on our land here because we are going to be airbnb -ing this house a lot of you guys asked like if we're selling it we went back and forth i explained this on my off-grid channel which you guys um i'll put the link below go subscribe to that if you want to see like all of our projects and our move and us building our new homestead in um the tropics but i'll share quite a bit of it on here as well for you guys and i'm excited so i'm gonna make some breakfast derek and i are working on a retaining wall today we've been working on it um the last few days and we have a bunch of work to do on that so i'm gonna make some breakfast quick and then we'll get this day started so i've never been somebody that's super big on refrigerating rice because i always just made it fresh but now that we're kind of moving and we're not gonna have like super easy access to groceries and things like that. I've been refrigerating any leftover rice and I've been trying to come up with like different ways to use it. So you'll probably see that over the next few videos that I make, I'm trying to get creative with this. Um, this mango sticky rice is one of my favorite ways to make it though. I have this recipe, it's my lean and clean guide and I'll put it on my website for you guys as well, but it's really simple. You can kind of just make it however you want. If you don't have refrigerated rice either, you can just use some frozen rice or I think it works best with leftover rice, but you can use fresh rice um, as well. But if you're somebody who is sick of eating oatmeal or smoothies for breakfast and you just need a new idea this can be a game changer for you so i'm just going to add a little bit of water into this pan you can just add as much rice as you want so i'm just going to add in like a cup of this and i just put this over medium heat and then i have some frozen mango so you can use fresh mango it'd be a lot better and I like to add quite a bit of mango, maybe like two cups 
or so. So I'm just gonna put the lid on and just let this heat up for a minute or so. Once it starts getting hot, I'll just add a dash of this. I like to add a little bit more at the end, so I just do a tiny bit. And then I add like a splash of vanilla and a pinch of salt. And then what I like to do is I cook this with the lid off until all this water basically burns off. All right, so I'm just gonna add in a splash of coconut milk. This is the one I use a lot because it just has two ingredients. Just wanna make sure you shake it really well. And then I'll just turn the heat to low and cook it until it's really kind of just as thick as I want it to be. And it will thicken quite a bit as it cools as well. Like I said, I'll do a little drizzle of maple syrup. And I like to just do a tiny little pinch of salt. So good. You guys definitely have to try it. Literally like 10 out of 10. I like to actually put it in the fridge for a tiny bit, let it cool a little bit. It gets a lot stickier. And it, I don't know, it just makes it even better. So while I'm eating this, I'm actually going to cook some lentils that I'm gonna have for lunch because we have a lot of stuff to do today and I just wanna get this out of the way. Plus I like eating lentils when they're cold better. So this is really simple. It's not even really a recipe or anything that I follow. I just put as many lentils as I want into this pot is usually like a cup or a cup and a half um, and then whatever seasoning I'm kind of feeling I usually like to do curry powder um, I'll put a little bit of nutritional yeast and some chili flakes for spice and then this is one of the it's like the Edward and Sons not chicken bouillons I only have half left because I just use half one for each time I make this so I'm gonna get that started I always rinse my lentils as well um, but again I'm trying to think of like really easy kind of dry good meals that I can make for when we're living on our new property because I'm not gonna have like a ton of access to grocery stores. <laughs> so I don't even really measure this, I just cover the lentils in water. And then I just put this over high heat again to get it to a boil. I'll put my bouillon cube in here, which you could use like veggie broth or whatever you want instead of the bouillon. So I'll just cover this, let it come up to a boil, reduce it to a simmer and let it cook until all the water is absorbed. And then I'll add in my seasonings. I wait until the end to add in the seasonings because I feel like it just kind of like dissipates the flavor. This is almost done. So I'm going to add in the seasonings. I like to do curry powder or my other favorite is just doing like a Italian seasoning blend and I'll have it with pasta. So what I do with these lentils is um, I like to have like a big veggie meal for lunch because I feel like it satisfies me a lot. So I'll just chop up whatever veggies I have on hand and saute them in water and then I'll have them with a little bit of rice and a ton of these lentils and usually like a hummus or a cashew sour cream or something like that and it's one of the most filling meals, honestly. Or having this with potatoes, I feel like, is even more filling, but just having that like big veg veggie meal for lunch really satisfies me and keeps me away from snacking for the rest of the day, so that's what I like to do. And having these lentils already cooked, like I usually cook enough for a few days. Sometimes I get sick of lentils, obviously, so I'll make like chickpeas or something like that, but some type of bean or lentil I like to have on hand for lunch that I can throw together um, with some type of carb like pasta or potatoes or rice or whatever.
So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna make a sushi bowl. This is one of the most popular recipes in, I feel like it's the most popular recipe I've ever made. It's so simple. But it's one of the most popular recipes in my meal plans. It's in the monthly menu meal plan, the first one. Um, I'll link it below. All my meal plans and books this week are 50% off if you guys want to grab any of them. It's a great time. I think you can get my lean and clean guide for like 12 bucks. It's super cheap. Um, and my meal plans are like that amount or less, I think. Um, but I'm gonna make sushi. I actually froze some tofu, which I've never done. I've heard people talk about this many, many times, but I've never done it. Cause I have a pretty good tofu press and I think people just say that it makes it more dense. Um, but I pressed this tofu. I had half a block of it just sitting in the fridge and I, we were like going somewhere so I didn't want to waste it. So I just threw it in the freezer. Um, so I'm gonna make this today and see how it works out but i'll show you guys like how i season it and all that kind of stuff because um i feel like the way i make tofu people always comment they're like how do you get it like that and it's very simple so i will show you guys okay so the way i make this tofu is really simple like i said um this was frozen so i'm gonna just press any extra water out of it i feel like that's the absolute key to um the best tofu is getting all of the excess water out of it because then the tofu can soak up whatever seasonings you put on it. And if you love tofu like me, the best thing you can get hands down is a tofu press. Um, this one is like a spring loaded press. So it works a lot better than like, I used to have one that had cranks on it and that one did not work at all. You need one, you put the tofu in here, you put this on top and then it's like a spring. So as the water comes out, um, it compresses it more. Game changer. So all I do is I just chop this up into like uniform pieces. And I'm really excited to see how this turns out after I froze it. Cause it does look like a bit more, like it's gonna be a bit, like meatier. And then I'll just put it into a little like container like this. And I just drizzle soy sauce on it and then I'll shake it, shake it up. Just get it nice and coated. And then I just toss it in garlic powder. And then you just toss this in the air fryer. I usually do 400 for about seven or eight minutes just until it's as crispy as I want it to be. But I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. It just works every time. I feel like the air fryer though is like the key and the tofu press. I'm so ridiculous. So as I'm waiting for the tofu to cook, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put this video together. For some reason, I filmed my lunch like on a totally different memory card and I cannot find this memory card for the life of me. Like I have looked everywhere for this memory card. So there's no clip of my lunch unless I find this memory card, which I'm determined I've looked in every drawer. I have looked in the bathrooms, in my closet, in the trash. I'm like, has my cat knock it down? I think I actually did take a photo of it with my phone. So I'll put it in here, but so annoying. Anyways, I cooked some fresh rice because I like to use fresh rice for sushi bowls. And then usually I put um, like a bunch of spring greens in here. And for the longest time, I was just using soy sauce for the sauce with sweet chili sauce. But I found, somebody told me about this bachan sauce. So I've been using that to top my sushi bowls with and it's really good if you've never tried it. I want to try the other flavors. Um, there's like a yuzu one, which I don't know how you say that. I probably butchered it, but it's a citrus flavor. And then this is um, kimchi. I tore the label off. So I like to put kimchi, this furikake. This is the most important ingredient in my opinion. So I'm just gonna shred some carrots, um, some cucumber, and then I'm gonna put half of this avocado on it with my rice and my tofu. I also forgot to show you. So here's what the tofu looks like. I think it looks the same as when I make it as when it was frozen, 
but we'll see. We'll have to do a taste test. So I've got my rice, my avocado, cucumber, carrots. I'm just gonna add some of this spicy kimchi. Put a lot of this stuff on. Special sauce. 